Well, this is going to be a video of how to enable server-side includes on uh, Windows 8 and specifically uh, IIS 8 which comes uh, which you can add or install separately on Windows 8 it doesn't come installed by default so if you ever try to use server-side includes and you uh, can't seem to get it working one of the problems could be that server-side includes simply aren't enabled on your IIS installation and so I'll walk you through that process of enabling server-side includes on IIS 8 using uh, Windows 8 and uh, it's a very familiar or a very familiar process for those of you who have done it in Windows 7 using IIS 7 or 7.5 uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up IIS and I'm at the server level I'm going to change the handler mappings as you can see I've got three of them these are the three that come default with IIS 8 I'm gonna add a module mapping and I'm gonna type in the file extension that I want to enable server-side includes to be used on and then I would select server-side includes module if it was a choice for me out of this drop-down because it's not it means that I have not enabled server-side includes at the Windows level Windows feature level so I'm gonna click cancel I'm gonna open up the control panel and I'm gonna go to programs and features and over here on the far left I'm gonna click turn Windows features on or off and underneath IIS underneath WWW services there's application features and notice server-side includes isn't checked so I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna click OK it's gonna install server-side includes it only takes a few seconds and if I go back to IIS I'm gonna click on add module mapping I'm gonna type in the file extension that I want to enable server-side includes and it's still not gonna show up in my list and that is, I've run into this before I simply gonna close IIS and reopen it again and go to handler mappings now notice I've got some server-side includes by default it enables the dot shtml the dot shtm and the dot stm which are fairly common uh, file extensions to enable server-side includes on one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a custom one again click on add module mapping I'm gonna add I want all my HTML files to be able to um, utilize server-side includes I'm gonna leave the executable path blank and this is more of a friendly name. I'm going to give it SSI-HTML. Actually, I'm going to follow the SSINC-HTML. Just following the standard that they have. I'm going to click OK. And now I've enabled server-side includes any HTML files or any of these files uh, that have server-side include references on them will, enable, will be now enabled using IS8. Uh, on a Windows 8 professional box. I hope that helps you out if you uh, if you are looking for that information.